I'd like to introduce you now to Professor Stephen Davids. This is a clip that I recorded at our recent Diabetes and Exercise and Sports Association meeting in Toronto. Professor Davis is one of the world experts in the management of diabetes and has made a career of studying the effects of hypoglycemia in diabetes. Over the last couple of years he's really concentrated on the issues about exercise and hypoglycemia and he's really outlined the difficulties that people have with diabetes and their low blood sugars. He'll discuss the issues of counter-regulatory hormones. I think it's worth explaining what counter-regulatory hormones are. In your body you've got a protective system of hormones which raises your blood sugar if, the, if it drops. Now these hormones include adrenaline and noradrenaline, growth hormone and perhaps most importantly a hormone called glucagon. Stephen discusses the issues about what happens in diabetes and why these counter-regulatory hormone responses may not work as well as they should do. Unfortunately, with longer duration diabetes, we get reduction um, in just about all of these major players. So, for example, uh, glucagon is not able to be released in response to hypoglycemia after five years duration of diabetes. Uh, one loses the ability to secrete uh, adrenaline, which is the, really the main player in increasing plasma glucose um, after long duration of diabetes and also after repeated episodes of hypoglycemia or exercise and on top of that of course uh, individuals that have long-standing diabetes become insulin deficient and they cannot reduce uh, insulin appropriately uh, during physiologic stress such as exercise or hypoglycemia. Well as we all know that uh, exercise is a cornerstone to the treatment of diabetes and I think it's fair to say that nearly all people with diabetes would benefit from regular exercise. Unfortunately, uh, we've determined that there is vicious, a vicious cycle between hypoglycemia and exercise whereby if you have hypoglycemia today that reduces your ability to protect your glucose during exercise tomorrow and vice versa if you have exercise, if you exercise today you lower your ability to protect your blood glucose, your blood, blood glucose against a drop uh, tomorrow. Thanks, Steve. That's fantastic.